Tonight, another new attempt to try to deal with a growing homeless problem in the tri-state during the pandemic-spawned recession, and for people displaced by disasters as well. This time, it's happening in Newark, where the mayor and others today launched what they call Hope Village, using shipping containers, that's right, shipping containers, to house people who are at risk or without addresses. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates, live in Newark with the story. Tony. Hi, Bill. And, you know, many people who are homeless sometimes tend to want to stay on the street rather than to go into the uh, traditional shelter system for a variety of reasons. Well, the city of Newark realized that it needed a more compassionate alternative, one that offered more privacy to help these people not only get off the street, but get out of the shelter system and end to permanent residence. Does anybody want to go to this shelter? For this is what they days, call guys? Newark's Penn Station Corridor, home, unfortunately, to many who are homeless, even people who have jobs who are struggling to make ends meet. We have four people in Penn, that's living in Penn Station. One works at Peninsula, one works at uh, Hello Fresh. The two beds are not, they're not occupied right now, that's the Penn Station, because they're working. Help has jumped into overdrive. Many who are here will in days. Seven days until the container homes come. Be moving to here. Newark's Hope Village on Newark Street, a dream forged into truth by the city's homeless czar. We have been able to do what felt like the impossible in establishing a beautiful, dignified, safe sleeping village rooted in love for our most vulnerable residents. This is what happens when your job skills begin in your heart. People see that all of the, the, the misery, the death, the stuff that's going on, that, you know, we need to do something that's uplifting, that's hopeful. We need to get these things done, and, and uh, people feel that. I really connect with the people that are actually living on the street, doing street outreach and getting to know their stories. Um, it just changed, it, just, it changed me. Seven shipping containers converted into 20 dorm-like rooms. Well, this project was, say, unprecedented because we did it in, Sakina said, I think 45 days. Where clients will spend up to 90 days sheltered and helped to find and maintain permanent homes. We're providing round-the-clock case management, around-the-clock care. So we're really giving them an excellent footing to get started on. Now, uh, this first focus is going to be on that homeless community at Penn Station because for seven days a week, for many of those people, that is home. And they can move from there and come here, have a safe place to stay, and social services will come here to help them. For now, we're live here in Newark, New Jersey. Tony Gates, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.